Starfield has been called into question recently in recent days, months, and weeks. Obviously, about whether it's got the same longevity that Skyrim had. Are people going to be playing this 10 years later like they are with Skyrim? Have people stopped playing Starfield? There's a famous little um, quote from IGN that basically says, the fact that it takes about 7 or was it 10 plus hours into the game before it starts to get interesting is a bad sign for Starfield. But Phil Spencer on the attack, or on the defense, I should say, believes that Starfield's got a lot more to offer. Let's get into it. Let's get into the news. I'm Blaze2K, okay, and if you love gaming tech, unboxings, reviews, all that good stuff, then come click the like, click the subscribe, click the bell icon, because we post videos every day on the channel, and I really appreciate it. Anyways, let's see what Phil Spencer has to say. Let's go. Let's go. Before we get into it though, go check out pixelbuys.com, the new tech and pop culture geek website with buying guides, gift guides, and just news on tech and gaming in general. I think you'll love something, you'll love everything on um, Pixel Buys. You'll find something you'll like on Pixel Buys, sorry. And also go check out the links down below in the video description, top pin comment for some great gifts and great tech deals that I'll put down there. So go check that out. Anyways, onto the news. So what does Phil Spencer have to say about Starfield? So Phil Spencer wants you to play Starfield for a decade. Spencer says he has a ton of confidence that Bethesda's RPG will retain players. Um, when it comes to Starfield, Bethesda's massive space RPG, Xbox Phil spent Xbox head Phil Spencer doesn't care about Steam Active player accounts or Game of the Year award snubs. He still believes in his heart of hearts that the game will enjoy Skyrim-esque longevity. At least that's what he said on stage at Brazil's Comic-Con experience. Now, I love Starfield. I love space travel. I love all that sort of stuff. But I will admit, Starfield was a little bit of a slow burner. I mean, when you get into the game, you're like, oh my god, it's Starfield. It's the new Bethesda Games RPG. Oh, it's so cool. Overflight spaceships. This is awesome. But then it sort of has the moment where it brings you back down and you're like, oh, where do I go? What do I do? Oh, it just doesn't grab you in the same way that Skyrim does. But Phil Spencer seems to disagree. Let me know what you think in the comments, more importantly. I plan on playing Skyrim, I'm sorry, Starfield a lot more. I had a lot of issues on PC. Basically, my game was stuttering and freezing every like couple of seconds, which was like making it unplayable. The frame rate and the performance was terrible. I've got a 3080 Ti with a top end Ryzen um, CPU. Um, it was unplayable on the Steam Deck and ROG Ally. So. A myriad of reasons why I, I stopped playing it was because it just ran really bad. But a lot of people stopped playing it because they just didn't find it that interesting. So let's see what else he's got to say. So um, this comes courtesy of Kotaku, by the way. Um, so yeah, he says it will, he thinks it will have that Skyrim-esque longevity um, over at the Brazil's Comic-Con Experience 2023. During the Sao Paulo-based convention, Spencer was asked if he knew Starfield was going to be a hit by host Mari Palma. Um, he made sure to point out that the massive RPG has had more than 12 million players since its launch, and that still sits on in our top 10 most played games from our studios. He doesn't offer any supporting details for that statement. Does he mean that this is the best year um, this year or all time? Does he mean active players? How many games are we talking about here? Does he... Uh, but he does get into Starfield's massive scope and how he hopes that scope will translate to longevity. After Spencer referenced Bethesda's affinity for making huge games, Palmer zeroed in on Skyrim, pointing out to people that point out pointing out that people are still playing the Elder Scrolls sequel 12 years after it was first debuted. And when he a when asked if he sees that happening with Starfield, Spencer says that's our goal before elaborating a little bit. Skyrim's such an amazing hit from Bethesda Game Studios, he said, talking to game director Todd Howard and the team. Really, what they wanted to do is give people who love space and space exploration of which I am one of those people who love space exploration, that same opportunity. He then referenced the planned Shattered Space DLC, addressed that it's going to be getting DLC, which does not yet have a release date, and the mod tools, which are coming sometimes in 2020, sometime in 2024, that have been so important to Skyrim. And I will admit, Skyrim, that's one of Skyrim's um, benefits, or one of the pros for Skyrim, obviously, is the fact that it had that big modding community over on Steam on PC that allowed people to add graphics mods, you know, add new like content into the game virtually you know and just like vr mode was like uh before they released the official skyrim vr version <laughs> modder actually made like their own version their own vr mod for the game which was fantastic so hopefully we do get something like that for um for starfield i would love to play this game in vr like imagine just exploring the universe of vr and just all that sort of cool stuff flying in a rocket flying in the spaceship getting into space battles Arrgh! 
it would be awesome in looting just like picking up like pencil holders and stuff like you do in starfield right from different bases that you get into and just like looting and looting that'd be so cool um obviously smashing rocks and like harvesting just like m minerals and everything like that is so cool and the the possibilities are endless for vr and especially with the apple vr headset or the apple ar headset coming out early next year bring us a vr version phil um I a lot of confidence for that many a ton of confidence that for many many years starfield will be sitting very high in the gameplay he said whether spencer's confidence is justified remains to be seen of course he wants starfield to have legs microsoft spent 7.5 billion dollars buying bethesda back in 2021 and I don't think they spent all that just for their back catalog. They spent that for future titles too, including obviously Starfield, which is going to be a big part of that acquisition and whether they get their money back from it. And yes, active player counts on Steam don't look great, but that's not a surefire way of telling whether a game is good or bad. As someone who bounced pretty violently off Starfield after about 30 hours of gameplay, I'm not sure it has the longevity Skyrim does, but perhaps mods and DLC will change all of that. And I'll jump back into Bethesda's Galaxy next year for another 30 hour romp. Only time will tell. Let me know what you think in the comments, guys. Do you think Starfield has the leg to to last like 12 years and um obviously just get better with time and age let me know in the comments um obviously i'm going to be playing a little bit more starfield soon they've released a patch that fixed it on pc for me so i'm looking forward to jumping back and do it and what i did play was pretty fun as it was obviously it's unplayable on steam deck that's my platform of choice right now just playing games on the steam deck i would love to play on the steam deck hopefully we get some new fsr improvements some graphic updates performance updates and proton sites so we can just enjoy this game a little bit more on handheld devices i think they could do a lot more optimizing for the game um but yeah let me know what you think in the comments i'm blaze 2k if you love gaming tech unboxing reviews come join us every day on this channel click like click subscribe click the bell icon you'd be doing me a massive favor i love you i appreciate you and enjoy enjoy your tuesday and more importantly, like I said, just tell me what you thought in the comments. And obviously go check out pixelbuys.com and the links down below for some great recommendations. Peace out. Take care. I'll see you in the next one.